where her tennis really developed, the belief grew. She's got a couple of break points here. Oh. And there is a break of serve for Yulia Sarodupseva on her Grand Slam debut. Well, showing there that she can do a bit of damage with the two-handed backhand as well. 15 on. Yeah, the forehand flies long. And if you have the courage to do it. Oh, that's a beauty. Great disguise. Great accuracy. You can see here technically how compact she is on that backhand. Short backswing. Just miss hitting on the backhand. So I think probably the. It's just not where it needs to be at the moment, is it? And the first service action actually quite disjointed. So I wonder whether that the fact that there are more moving parts perhaps is just making it a little bit harder for her. Yeah, maybe I should uh, keep quiet a bit. I'll start whispering. Oh, that's the way. She must have taken my advice because that serve percentage is uh, looking a lot better than it was in her previous service game. And actually, she's received a couple of unforced errors from Javur, who obviously is still feeling a little... Well, we might well have a match on the hands here. Yeah, this time the drop shot doesn't pay dividends. The overhead to hit. She was moving backwards. She's not the tallest of the top players. But just such good and efficient technique on all of her shots on Jabeur. Yeah, this time the break comes. And that's a set. Jabber. Is all she wrote for the opening set here. Jabur managing it well. Didn't have it all her own way, but in 37 minutes, she takes it six games to three. Yeah, that's a, a clean strike Out of all the players here in Melbourne. I mentioned that. This time last year, she was unranked, in fact, in March, with the ambition of playing more professional tournaments to raise funds for her to compete on that circuit, raise $23,000 to give her an opportunity to compete, really. It's a risky shot to go for. For a woman, it means a long time away from tour.
And of course, in many ways, this uh, 2024 Australian Open on the, on the women's side is a, a story of comebacks. Mm -hmm. He's back on the scene, Osaka, Kerber. Lots to look forward to with uh, them in action. Upshot off the return. Incredible touch and feel. Is a much better choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good depth yeah. into the corner yeah. there from Shabur. A bit of pressure. Deuce doesn't want to be broken back. Great serve. Not a good serve. Good forehand. And she just seems to never miss those overheads. I don't think I've ever seen her miss it. Yeah, clips the line. It's a big hit. What a timing when she has uh, cut it very close. But when she, you can see it right here, it lifts. She has a bit more time. She sets up perfectly and just moves her entire body weight through it. Jabur yeah. just starting yeah. to turn the screw now. Oh, it's a Jabur special. Stella Dubstepa did really well actually to decelerate there and, and not hit the net because I'm pretty parallel with the net and it looked like. Jabur is up and running at the 2024 Australian Open. The 6th seed was tested at times by the qualifier, the great story of Yulia Sarodusova, who we'll see more of, but for now it's about Ol Jabur.